This was Wembley on Cup final day, and as you'd expect, not an inch of room to spare among spectators. <laughs> Meanwhile, here's the present North End team preparing to go into battle under the leadership of Tom Finney. Now out they come onto the field, together with their opponents, West Bromwich Albion. Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, was the first lady of the royal family to take part in the presentation ceremony here. Len Millard did the honours for West Bromwich, and Tom Finney presented the members of his team. Referee Mr Lutie supervised the toss-up, which was won by Finney. Then, with the ball on the spot, Allen kicked off for West Brom, and a hundred thousand football fans at once began to offer their advice. <laughs> Rather scrappy play at first underlined the nervous tension that's obviously felt at the beginning of any cup final. For a time, the defence of both sides dominated the proceedings. Great things were naturally expected of right-winger Finney, just as naturally he was closely marked. After some 20 minutes, West Brom moved into the attack and they were rewarded when a cross from left-winger Lee was tapped in by Allen. Slow motion shows how simple a goal can be if you get a pass when in the right position. Thompson in goal hadn't an earthly. Preston, all the same, came right back, and now it was West Brom who were under strong pressure. In the space of one minute, a centre from right half Doggerty was headed in by outside left Morrison to make it one all. <laughs> the Royal Spectators and all that vast crowd were now looking forward to a decisive second half. As for West Brom, they've been taking a little oxygen in the interval. Wayman kicked off for Preston, and it was the Lancashire team that launched the first attack. They kept at it with great resolution, and after six minutes, when presently the ball went to Wayman, West Brom, it seems, all thought he was offside. But there was no whistle, and beating Sanders, he shot into an open goal to give Preston the lead. Slow motion again shows just how Wayman did it. Many, of course, thought this was the crucial goal, but there were more sensations to come. Presently, a foul by Doherty against Barlow was given, and this meant a penalty for West Brom. Allen took it and just beat Thompson. A drawn game now seemed to be more than likely, but the FA Cup final has never been drawn at Wembley, and only three minutes from the end, the winner was scored for West Bromwich by Griffin. Suspense had certainly been maintained right up to the last in this struggle between two evenly matched teams. Still, it's goals and the cup that count. Len Millard's big moment came as Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, presented the famous trophy and the medals. This was West Brom's fourth cup final victory. By a narrow margin, it's true, but the triumph was there. We asked Len Millard how he felt about it. Well, it's been a great game, and I think West Brom just about deserved to win, and we'll try again next season and do the double. Thank you very much. Yes, even the FA Trophy's a cup, and after all, what's a cup like this for if it's not for celebrations? <laughs>